Hello, dolls and jeans. Coming to you with my Valentine's Day nails. Um, as you can see, I uploaded, I got caught up. I uploaded all my other nail videos so that I can get this video up in February because I know y'all always see it kind of late. Even if you see this like the last week in February, these are my Valentine's Day nails. Um, I just went and put the stones on them just now. I just did that. Um, you did see my rant from earlier today when I was on my way to the Chinese place. I just don't understand why nail techs can't do this. Why can't you give me a feel with polish? Why can't you do it? There's nothing wrong with my nails. Chinese lady gave me a feel. There's absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with my nails. Sturdy. Good. I went back under and put... Um, this is what I put underneath. It's a gel base coat polish and you have to put it under the UV lamp. I got it off of Amazon and I love it because it's really thick. And that's what she was seeing under my nails and that's what she didn't understand. It's really, really thick and I like it that thick and that's how I like it. That's, that's my preference. Okay. Let me put this top coat on my um, toes. I'm going to show y'all my toes either at the beginning or, um, end of this video you guys always want to see my toes and i'm doing them right now so y'all can get a shot of my toes and then i'm also going to put just another top coat around my crystals to make sure they stay on um it's the weekend of february 1st so we're just going into february and I've been able to go like two weeks and three or four days with this um, Chinese place. I am going to try to go three weeks with her. So I don't want to go back to her until the third Saturday in February, hopefully. I get tired really quick too with, the, with what I have. But I just want to see if they last. So I'm going to try not to go back to her. Um, this time, she didn't do the stones. I did the stones. Okay, I got two glitter nails on each hand. And then because I got the halfway polish, it was $5 more. So this time I paid $60. Okay. And for those of you who had a problem last time with how much I took, I don't care. I know what my budget, I know what I can afford. So I don't care if you tip $20, $30 to your nail tech. Cool. God bless her. I know what I, I, I have a budget. I know what I can do and I know what I can afford. Okay. So I took based on what I have at the time. You know, if I've gotten bonuses, commissions, and gotten other things, then I can tip more. If not, I got to survive too. They're getting paid for their services. And they're getting paid very well for their services for me. Okay? Um, $60. Took her an hour. She didn't do any spectacular designs or anything, as you can see here. Let me bring my light up some because I had my light down here for my toes. Um, It's getting dark outside. She didn't do any, you know stripes and, and i started to come home and do like stripes and polka dots and designs but i said i'm not gonna mess with it i'm just gonna do the stones and i'm not going to mess with it i think the last week before i go back to her i am going to put like some maybe black polka dot stripes and kind of play around with my my how i do my designs um i want to play around with my designs a little bit i want to put some more top coat where my stones are it just helps them to last longer um and how i do my stones is i just take a base coat i put a base coat on my nails and then i lay my stones down and i put them under the lamp and i promise y'all we have the hardest time getting these stones off i try to take them off before i go to her but not every time do I have time to get them off before I go to her. But I do try to, no matter who I go to, I will try to take all these stones that I'm sticking on there and stuff. I try to take the stones off before I go to the nail tech. Um, just as consideration and because I know I can load up some stones on some nails, okay? Even though they can take the drill and get it off, I still take my acrylic clippers and I try to take the stones off. That's what I do. Um, she did a good job. They're still very, very curved. I love the curve. I wish I can get the pointer finger to curve more. I don't know why I want my pointer finger to just curve. Eventually it will because my pointer finger and thumbs automatically curve once my natural nail grows out underneath. 
this is what she was seeing underneath, which is just a clear glass coat of that base coat gel. So that's what was freaking her out. Why? I don't know. Because like I said, if you if you a nail nail take, I'm talking about on period, you shouldn't have a problem with it. I mean, these people gave me a feel. I was out of there in an hour and five minutes and there's no problems. My nails don't break. They don't crack. They don't split. They don't do none of that. So I think I intimidate a lot of these new nail techs or a lot of these young nail techs or I just intimidate them. Either that or they just want to land um, clientele, as I said before. But I'm done. Like, I was talking to my husband earlier. He was like, babe, you just need to go to the Chinese people and leave it alone. He said, do it yourself or go to the Chinese people. Because I get so frustrated when you tell me that you cannot give me a feel when I know I can get a feel. That frustrates me. Okay? And I know I'm going to get comments down below, but I don't give a rat's. If you can do a feel, you can do a feel. If you can't, you can't. That's just the bottom line to the whole thing. Okay? And so, yeah. So, I am satisfied with them. I love them. I'm just going to stick with her. I'm just going to stick with her. That's that's just... I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Chinese lady it is. She can get all my coins. All my coins. So, I'm just going to stick with her. Um, I just put some top coat back on that one. And I love, love, love the glitter. This was start. This was D and D. This polish is by D and D. This glitter polish. This was. Oh dang! I forgot. Pinky. You got a text message. Pinky something. And um, this was starlight pink. I know one was pinky. Pink. P i n k y was the color. I'll find out for y'all. But it's they're both D and D polish, but I think the glitter one is starlight pink. Um my husband is texting me. Sorry, y'all. Cause he'll call and interrupt my video. Um, let me show y'all my toes. Okay, here are my toes. I put a, and I'm not very good at polishing toes, y'all. So, don't come for me because I come back. All right? I got dust on my toes. I know I was drilling and fouling. I'm going to go wash them off now. But some people are always saying, can they see my toes? Here are my toes. I do not have long toenails. Um, in the summertime, I will do the big toe. I put a tip on the bigger toe. And I will put a longer, bigger toenail. But that is it. Um... If y'all know an easy way to get the gel polish off your toes, let me know. A lot of times mine will come off of one or two, like automatically, like I told y'all. I'll look down and I got like eight toes with polish left on them or seven toes with polish left on them, like out the blue. Um, but to get the rest of it off, sometimes I end up hurting myself with the drill because you have to drill gel polish off. If you guys know a better way to get gel polish off, please let me know. I know the fastest way is to drill it off, but if you're not careful with a drill, you can hurt yourself. So I like putting the gel polish on my toes because it lasts, but I hate taking it off. So y'all let me know. This polish right here, I got a long time ago. Oh, you can't see the name. A-Z-U-R-E Soak Off UV and LED Nail Polish by azure the white i love the polish that i got for them from them but the polish that i got from them is very very thick and gooey i'm really debating on throwing this away it's very hard for me to lay the polish it's very thick and gooey um all of the polish from that very very thick gooey consistency and it's very hard to get it to lay down on the nails or on the toenails or i may just use it when i'm dotting like when I'm doing polka dots, I may just use it for that because it's very, very thick and gooey polish. Um, I'm still enjoying the other polishes that I bought from Amazon that I showed you guys. But yeah, I need to order some more stones because a lot of the stones that I have left are tiny. So I need to order some more stones. These are kind of colored stones, as you can see, and I really don't like colored stones. And then a lot of the stones that I have left are really, really tiny. I'm almost out of my humongous ones, my big ones. 
So I need to get on AliExpress or Amazon and order some more stones. I have my bowls, which I think I'm gonna put a bow. I think I'm gonna put a bow on my nails. Let me text my friend and ask her. There is one nail for you to put a bow on where you won't hurt yourself. Hey, don't laugh at me. What finger is it again that you get the bow put on for your nails so it doesn't get in the way? She told me one time and I forgot, but I'm going to write it down this time. But I think I'm going to stick a bow on this ring finger. I think I'm going to stick a bow on this ring finger. Um, but if you put a bow on the pointer or the thumb, it's going to get caught on everything. Everything. So I have to ask her which finger, but I think it's the ring finger. It might be the middle finger. And if it's the middle finger, I'm screwed because I put stones on it. Watch it be the middle finger. Watch she say middle finger, y'all. Oh, Jehovah. She's probably going to say middle finger. If she say middle finger, I won't do it. But if she say ring finger, I'll do it. So, yes, that is my toes. And these are my nails. So everybody can stop asking. I don't have long toenails at all. And I won't put a tip on my toe until the summertime when I don't need to wear closed toe shoes. Right now in South Florida, it is not extremely hot. I'm sorry, it's not extremely cold. But we wake up some mornings and it's like 50, 60 degrees and my feet need to be covered. Um, so you won't see a long toenail during this time. Probably May Probably in May, starting in May, I will do my, my big toe, long toenail. I'll probably start doing that in May. So thank you guys for watching. Any questions, comments, put them down below, and I'll see you guys next time.